grip tape. Grip tape is one of the most important, if not the most important, part of your fingerboard. There are two types of grip tape, pre-cut or uncut. Pre-cut is good for traveling because you just have to peel and stick it onto your fingerboard, but sometimes can look sloppy, unlike uncut where it perfectly forms to your fingerboard. To put on uncut, there are two basic things that you need to follow. You need to use an emery board. But before you can start putting on your new grip tape, you need to take off your old grip tape, if you have any. Using hot water can take off the grip tape even faster. Once you're finished taking off your old grip tape, Keep in mind of any logos that you'd like to show off or present to the other people fingerboarding. Our flat face G12 logo, we want to be seen, so we're going to cut a slit in our grip tape. To do this, we are going to line up our piece of grip to our fingerboard logo and bend it right where we need to cut. Then cut a slit in your grip tape. Peel it off and stick it firmly on your fingerboard. Make sure there is no air bubbles because that will make for some weird finger movements. Then repeat this process with the other part of the grip tape that we've cut. This is what your fingerboard should look like. Now, using your emery board, file down the edges of your grip tape at a slanted angle. Make sure not to do it in the same spot very long because it could damage the wood. Once you see the wood break through, move on to different parts or areas of the fingerboard. Once you're done, it should look something like this. Now gently peel away the fingerboard grip tape, revealing the fingerboard. It should look something like this. Now move on to the other part of your fingerboard, and you're good to go. Now you have a professional looking piece of grip tape on your board.